It is the role of the project manager to manage and influence the expectations of the various stakeholders. To effectively manage these stakeholders, it is crucial for the project manager to first determine who all the stakeholders are. Stakeholders, in this sense, will be all those people and organizations affected by the project. Once we know who the stakeholders are, we can determine what their concerns and needs might be. In doing so, we can understand what role they may play in the project deliverables and manage their expectations. For example, your project stakeholders may include diverse groups such as customers, suppliers, contractors and your project team. Your stakeholders may also have differing levels of interest and or influence over your project and therefore may impact this in a positive or negative way. As a project manager, it is important to try and identify them and better understand their roles, interests and potential influences over your project and then work out the most effective strategy to communicate. We generally classify stakeholders as either internal or external to the project. So who are the internal stakeholders? Internal stakeholders are internal to the project and will include you as the project manager, your project team and your management team if this is indeed a larger project. Internal stakeholders should have clearly defined roles, responsibilities and accountabilities that they need to fulfill. Who then are your external stakeholders? External stakeholders, on the other hand, are outside of the project or organization and typically include an end user or customers of the project's outcome, as well as suppliers and contractors. Engaging stakeholders and maintaining relationships with them can be a time consuming and ongoing process, but can certainly prove beneficial to your project's success if well managed. Let's contextualize this to Peter's office project and consider the stakeholders that he needs to engage and communicate with throughout the project life cycle. Peter has a diverse group of stakeholders that he needs to consider. The management team within the organization, as well as his project team, make up the internal stakeholders that he needs to manage. External to the organization, Peter will need to engage with the project sponsor, community organizations, secondary schools, and local businesses that will support the implementation of the system to help young people find employment after school. Peter will need to gain the support of the external stakeholders. So how might he go about doing this? It's a good idea for him to begin the process of engagement by meeting with the stakeholder groups individually to understand their roles and responsibilities. Holding this initial meeting will allow him to communicate his expectations and possible concerns. Once he has clarity on who the stakeholders are and their role in the project, he can then schedule a joint meeting with all of the stakeholders. A group meeting provides an opportunity for each stakeholder to understand the roles and responsibilities of the other respective stakeholders. Peter can use this meeting to initiate trust building between stakeholders and develop cooperation and collaboration. It's also worth remembering that this office project has a one year life cycle. Therefore, engaging and communicating with stakeholders should be a regular and routine occurrence to maintain clarity of roles, responsibilities and deliverables. Since Peter is fully accountable for the completion of this project, he will need to consider how he will deal with stakeholders should they not fulfill their responsibilities or should any conflicts between the stakeholders arise.